those standard CS GO skins? Come on, force drop and give your inventory a new life. Open cases, join the battle for the coolest skin in battle mode. Train your intuition in guessing cards and get the best skins from the world of CSGO. A ranking system, mini bonuses, and promotional codes will make your hunt for top skins much more interesting. Force Drop, link in the description. And then Heroic could just look stellar, but we don't really know whether or not that them looking amazing or Mad Lions looking a little bit dice. Santara is usually with the P2K. Guess the first one as well in this round on Circadian. Still in a good position. And already now, this is looking great for Big Clan. Yeah, they do at least get the trade, and that should give them control of the site. You can see Zontaras, he was tempted. He, he wanted to go through that smoke. He wanted to take the risk, but instead waits for the rest of his team. Kito a little bit further behind. The nade even going to be dunked in, but doesn't actually do any damage whatsoever to take these challenges. It is taking Big a little bit of extra time, though. And by the looks of it, they don't actually have a kit available for them, so they need to get going. Down is actually going to be blinded off, and that gives them the kill on Tessa. They get onto the bomb already, and it's left all onto Nico. Nothing he can do. Superb retake from Big from Hunden, where he was just sat there breaking everything down. It is possible. Now, we have seen an investment here. Now, there's a lot of SMGs currently in play, but that doesn't stop this from getting a headshot down the bottom of mid. And Keto, somewhat trapped in this corner. They know he's here, but that doesn't mean they can stop him. A lot of damage done. Tapson even peeks out to take one more out. And there are still a couple of AKs, but at the moment, it seems like they've got Big's name on them. Yeah, the timing on that swing from Tapson was absolutely perfect. Uh, not only does he help Keto out and actually does a lot of damage, he will die, not almost die in the Molotov. But the swing timing was perfect. They now have a big, big, big advantage here. Santaris should be able to end this one off with two nice kills. Well, basically doing the job. We, we saw that Zontaris, when he played Mirage versus Endpoint, was unstoppable. There was nothing that they can do. We're seeing still a few weaknesses within this nice flash, but it is only going to be the one kill. And they actually try and capitalize off of this. Nico with a second entry. He was highlighted by the desk as someone to watch, having some great performances. And actually, an uncharacteristic missed shot from Searson is going to give the site over to Heroic. Even though it doesn't work out for them and it actually ends up in big saving their weapons this round, the setup that they made towards their apartment this time around was actually really interesting. But the idea was actually really nice. Two-fifths of the team currently saving just to yeah. make sure they have a buy into the next round. Deep Molotov, extended and down finds Searson for free. Peek through the edge and leaves just one defender as Keto alone. I said he had a very good first match. Now he has to try and do a little bit more. First kill go this way and he gets back around the corner. He gets another 1v1 fight. Keto, he's isolating these jewels. And that is now three for three. Now just has to try and buy some time. Nico's already made the cross and he hits the headshot again. This is a ridiculous round from Keto. Only one man standing looking for the ace, but he runs out of bullets. It doesn't matter. Zontaris is there to clean things up. Keto is a monster. So now towards Banana. Hit the shot on Kadian. Secondary up picked up by Stout, who is also a great secondary open. Make no mistake, but I don't think he's going to be good enough to battle up against Sirsan. He will take down Keto though. 3v3. I'm quite surprised he managed to get away with that. With the positioning. Tessa oh, Tessa spotted the player in the graveyard, but that's a bit of a whiff. And Tizian just surviving here is going to be really irritating. Nico spamming him through though. And good teamwork to clear out that spot. Now Tabson's basically taking the initiative. Which are a little bit more aggressive. It seems like they might have an idea that he's here. Tessa! Oh, that's really awkward. And then he misses as well. What just happened? Oh, everything's oh, wow. gone wrong for Tabson. Yeah. I guess that's for another time. It, it's another position where there's a weak purchase. They did invest for this round big. And again, it's going to be Searson to start. Keto this time can't be the hero. However, there's a gap in the smoke. And the boost up gives both Searson and Tamson another kill. We're up in Cadian alone. It's going to be tough. They should be able to get the bomb down. But they're actually waiting a little bit. Now, without much utility, a single Molotov and a flash, this is actually quite risky. Because they basically have to try and kill off some of these players. They're making sure that no one overpeaks. When they go into the site, they're going to do it together. They're going to do it as a unit. <laughs> and yeah, it's just not possible. The nice attempt from Kadian, but unfortunately, yeah, yeah. he doesn't bait out the shot that he wanted. I always get flashbacks to those, like, uh, it's, I think it's Tarek screaming, take the shot, take the shot. <laughs> the correct call in this very round. 
Molotovs are raining in. Keto on the boost position will get the first one. Santaris with the secondary. Tessence is falling as well. This is not working out for Heroic. Big Clan. They're holding it tight. And the round will end. Taps in with a double as well. Very nicely done. Very good. I'm very impressed by Big. I have to say. This aggressive play doesn't work out and it's kind of unfortunate. Stone was completely blind, but he still lands a shot. This is a round that Heroic has to win. They cannot let this one go to Santaris. Do the flashbang. Doesn't care. Two frags. And once again, from an advantage, and now the downer player. This is this is very unfortunate for Heroic. And I, I guess all the big fans in the chat are going crazy right now because this is this is a round they should have no business in having an advantage in the least. But Antares makes it happen nonetheless. Ooh, that could be important though, especially now that the A site is completely open. Of course, this is something that, well, I really am going to be panicking if I'm a Heroic fan because he shouldn't be able to get away with anything here. 20 seconds oh, left oh. on the clock. The Molotov for Barb is so perfect though. And that should be the round. Yeah, that's actually, that's quite interesting because in that position, Barb is the one with the Molotov. He can choose to either Molotov win. Yeah. And although it was a, a little bit up and down with the Zantaris double, definitely making things interesting. It's basically that same scenario I mentioned before. You, you kind of need a multi-frag, and this is the man to do it. Tizian is also gone. It's left all onto Zontaris within that pit, but they haven't yet cleared him. There comes Nico out of the apartment to put him down. And yeah, this, this A site has been the pressure point now for Heroic, and it's working. They've come from what looked like a fairly weak half all the way up to potentially six, although Tabson does manage to find one, and a second as well. This becomes interesting, but Keto's very far behind. Yeah, they have to save their weapons still, but doing some economical damage, maybe some uh, Molotov down towards the bottom of the pit to deny some HP. He's going to wait here and throw it. I think they're going. It's actually quite early. They're still going for it. Okay. Yeah, Barab's going to catch what? one, and now that's the moment yeah. where they, they have to leave. I, I think it almost gave them a little bit of a false positive, that double kill from Tabster. Long. Flashbang comes here from Nico, and now it's up to Tessis to do the entry. Oh, and there we go. It's a nice frag, but refrag from Nico. The potential is there. Kadian rushing in as well to getting Santaris, and now that A side is cleaned up. And once again, that shows the, the, the punch that Heroic just has when, they, when they're going in as a unit. It's not just one player going for the entry frag, and if he fails, the whole thing falls apart. No, there's a secondary entry. That's Nico. And then there's a rotation around from Kadian coming in as a third player to help out. And that's all around one area of the map. So they're really playing well together as a unit. And and that seems to be a problem for Big right now. They can't really handle it on this A side. It hasn't worked out. And that's going to be the seventh round for Heroic, despite a great start on the T side. Let's wait and see. This is the pistol round coming up. And Nico's ready and waiting in the mid. Oh, he's surely going to get closed down. Searson just blasts his way up top mid. And you can already see Tessa starting to come under some pressure. The nade not doing too much. And the shots aren't either. He does get away with one, which is slightly more than maybe I expected at least. Already Tizian with another. Kadian comes in off the back of the CZ. And they have to be careful. The big position here is going to be Searson. Shutting out one more, leaving it all onto Kadian. And it's going to be a ninth round for Big. A great start. An elite dust two. Top flash into Boiler. And Stan will grab another headshot with the Deagle. Tessus knows exactly what's going on. And he will actually grab okay. one. That was almost through the wall. Fully flashed as well. Santaris trying to hold this one off, but this is the 5v3 situation. Yes, once again, still no pistols, still nothing else than pistols on the heroic side. No AKs, no nothing. But this can work out for them. The bait of Borb jumping onto the side oh, is no. perfect. That bait jump is so good. Down, we'll grab two here. There's no question about it. And I'm not even sure if it was intentional, but it works out so good, that bait jump from Borb. Yeah, it's... It's unfortunate in all areas of, of the round. And now it's going to be a very, very quick round towards the banana. Stown is here once again to make a mess of things. Kind of let them cross and then take the angles. Captain will be caught as well. Last player standing will be Tishian. And yes, damage done, but it's going to be three rifles picked up for sure. Let's see, will Caden get it? Yes, so three rifles picked up. Then they'll pounce on this. Caden has to hit this first shot. If this misses, the round is almost over. And a secondary from Kadian. Nate goes in, smoke to follow. The rotation comes from Stown. Kadian there, but they pay off. And well, he was one of the stars of the show 
And then Max versus Mad Lions. He's looking at me once again, but he does miss and gets overwhelmed because of it. The site has to be given up. And the four, well, almost versus two in shoes as Ito gets tagged. They've actually picked up the AWP. Stown is tagged as well, but it doesn't really matter too much. They are starting to pick this one apart. Land and once again, the, yeah, retake as a team, show the discipline, use the very limited pieces of utility you have left. The four kits, you don't have to waste all the time. Swing out two players so they all can challenge you. Very nicely done. At this point, it hasn't really been too much of an issue, but we are starting to see a few other players get slow oh, down. Okay. And look how aggressive this is. They're trying to disrupt the play, but it's similar to what we saw on Keto again. A triple spray down. He just has these explosive rounds out of nowhere. Goes in with the orb. That's a quad kill as well. He's looking for his second. Attempted this is, an ace, I guess you could say. Yeah, this is exactly what they needed. Ah, uh, can you just run B, Nico? Run B. Oh, he's going to get caught out by Tizian. Nails the shot on Takito. He's been the bane of their life over the last few rounds, so I'm sure they'll be quite happy to take this down. That's a really nice flash from Zantaras. Tamsin will isolate the duel and Stown trying to hold the cross. Looking for one, but in fact, they're going to go pushing onto him. They want to try and remove him from this position. Zantaras so quick with the headshot now allows them the potential to wrap around towards B. There's a solo defender. Barup did well in the last round, but this is going to be much tougher, and Tamsin doesn't even give him a second to think. Already the B site will fall and the economy for Heroic isn't great. They can't go for this. Let him see what he can do. And now a flashbang comes in from his teammate. Off still not removed. Tess is not usually an offer and he's not hitting, hitting his shots right now. <laughs> Tapson with one as well. Tess is so pressured. There's nothing he can do but he hit. Ooh. The no scope. Tapson comes in and secondary smoke towards Coffin. Are they going to go in? The second that they spot someone, they'll probably back all the way on out. Nope. They're staying there right now. They're taking a lot of damage. And that's two weapons down. The bomb will retreat, but two weapons Run. grab. Will they get the bomb as well? Oh my god. Tom, this is not happening. Oh, this is not a happening. Smaller chance with these sort of pistols. You might have to eat your words. It's down to Zontaris and Tizian to try and turn this back. There are five men on Banana for the CT side. They even have a smoke to try and hold them back. And they're going to boost over the top. Barop has caught another one. And Tizian, well... He'd have to almost double his kills to win this round. That is... <laughs> this is one of the rounds when 1-1-1 one, one, one split with Borg towards Long, who can rotate very quickly the second that Stown sees something. The rotation is going to come back. Can Stown get this frag? He's just aiming a little bit too high or too low. Santaris jumps above him. And it's going to be the plan. 3v3 post plan, but Stown is going in. Grabs one very early on in this retake. Will not be denied by the Molotov, oh. but the nade will kill him. He, he caught that one, so I'm, yeah. I'm sure he's won a prize somewhere in the world, but not too helpful in this clutch situation. Tabson again, but it's into the one versus one. Zontaras facing off against Kadian. He's not cleared the angle, and Zontaras peaks. Well, yeah. it has its own group on Steam. Maybe three in the form of Stown. The problem is the time. 15 seconds. Tessus could end this, but Tamsin again gets the opener. Nico's at least found one on the cross, but he's stuck completely blind. Timing is everything as they will get themselves the bomb down. A three versus two. The AWP might just be worth keeping here for Kadian. And Heroic. What? Tamsin actually dies from that. <laughs> because he, he saved that from the previous round. So, if anything, I would call this the worst of both worlds. <laughs> what was the... Oh, that's not the start they wanted. Tamsin on the entry has been phenomenal, by the way. An unsung hero for Big over the last few rounds. And, well, this is a save. Yeah, They've yeah. already lost the site. The orc has been retrieved. There's no way they get anything. And whilst down, I have all the players to die. I, I think that was probably the best case. He didn't have any Kevlar. Yeah. This is going to be horrible. And for the side of Big, well... Five alive, if anything, hunting. is overkill. So, four would be absolutely fine. Anything he can get would be great. And while we're up on just one HP, it's a very lucky to be alive. They're actually going to keep hunting. They know that they can sacrifice one more player for this. Oh, yeah. Okay, Nico. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> what? That makes no sense. Are they going to wrap back to B? Oh. This has been a hole in their defense, but the problem is the time. Again, we're getting down to the 15-second marker. Keto, Keto has everything to do. The first kill, that's 
may be enough. They need to just trade out onto Stout, but he drops one more. And the time is ticking. They have to go for the plan. If he denies they it, get he wins it. the get round. It. But they get it just down with a couple of seconds to spare. Even still, though, it's a two versus three. Oh, Taps Taps are going to try and get a little now. bit more aggressive. Yeah. This is perfect Sisson for me. doing the same. As they look for the peak. It's awkward, but Tamsin just about wins it. He misses the shot, though, and gets a second chance. It's into a one versus one. Nico facing off against Pearson. Probably both the players you'd want in this scenario. He's just going to tap the bomb. The tech now oh, no. comes out. Oh, no. The shot's not being connected. He has no tip. Let's go. And it's Pearson to hit the headshot and give the victory to Big from Hunden to watch. I think they would have known that Dust2 was coming. So they should be very well prepared for this. It's just whether or not that's enough. Because even individually, Big can be tough to break down. Keto looking to try and lock this site. I don't know how he's still alive. He's lasted so oh, long. What? Expected. How is he still at the back of the site? It doesn't matter. Eventually, it's the trades out and it's still heroic. That have got themselves an advantage. Make that an even bigger one as the rotation is caught by KD. And Tizian does save a few extra seconds on that bomb plant, but they've now spotted where Searson is and well, one of the many kings of Dust2. They're going to A. I am I'm surprised. It gives a 1v1 duel. If he wins this, I think he actually has a better possibility of winning the round, but unfortunately he won't. Kadian is going to get the double, holding off rotations all the way through. Statistics. So let's wait and see if they can maybe get two pistol rounds on Dust2. They lost both pistol rounds on Inferno. This is a push towards B. Frog coming in. Mac pin in hand. How is Keto still alive? <laughs> Once again. <laughs> two rounds in a row. He is a, he's a survivor. How? And because of that, he's actually going to get a second kill with the scout. He spotted Nico on the other side and he's still standing. It's left all on Takadian. A scout versus two scouts. Well, make that just one scout, but there's also a, a lone Tamsin in the mix with a P250. All the weaponry is now fallen into enemy hands. Tamsin has even picked up an AK-47, and why well, he's not quite going to hit that first shot, leaving just 29 HP. Plenty of time, but unfortunately it isn't going to work out. And if they can get some damage done towards the terrorist, down into towards Pit and Destus, and in my opinion, the best scout player in the world. Gonna lock this T side down. Yeah, he's making it difficult. There have been a couple of tags connected by Cadian on the other side, though. So there's at least a possibility to do some damage. The problem is all the rifles are still standing, and that's definitely going to make things tougher for Heroic. Also, you mentioned like they, they finally get themselves a pistol round win, and then they lose the second round. So it, it's, if anything, an even worse scenario than they would have been if they just lost the pistol and <laughs> got to fight back a little bit later on. And well, an eventual cleanup. Four players surviving. This could work. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Rotation to throw yeah. smoke into mid. There's nobody on there anymore. It's so gonna there's going to be an incendiary down. They'll smoke it. Nice shot onto Cadian. The bomb's going to go down in the nick of time. Three and a half seconds to plant. So they'll have just over a second left on the clock. Even still, though, it's a bit awkward. And Tabson, well, I was going to say he's still alive and kicking. The jump down. Not going to spot anybody out. Now both players coming in from short as the retake commences. Keto finds that first down, looking to try and catch his head as he crushes. But instead, with only 19 HP, he's left in a really awkward position for this bomb. And it's just being defused in front of him. He gets the kill eventually onto Keto, but it doesn't matter. Big will take the round home. And now he'll call for the backup, but it might be too late. He's burning up. If you can just get one frag here, that'll be perfect. He's buying time, so... It's, it's working out for him right now, but losing some HP and... Yeah, good angle for Sirson. This is working out. Sirson is actually playing this very well. He does die in the end, but I feel like the round is almost but decided. Very nice play from Sirson there. Let's see how they placed them. First one is good. Secondary is not well timed, but he missed the shot. Third one will take him out, so that's perfect. Nice chain flash setup. Taps them. They, they'll have to push him straight up. They, they'll just have to run through the Molotov. Tabs doesn't care. <laughs> he does not care. Well, this is what we like to see from Tabs and just slaughtering them as they push into the site. Obviously, we saw the HLTV article recently. That they have three players around this angle. Tizian with the ability to just switch back whenever they need. And they're actually going to go pushing oh, wow. what looks like into the stack. It's a very good position from Tabs and another multi frag. They've fallen for the trap of the Germans and now Cadian's there to try and fix an impossible scenario. Smoke on the corner. And to deny that one, Bob just goes out with the MP5. Okay. Tizian is close range, doesn't care. Just grabs the frag and the train continues rolling. 
onto the A bomb side. Sirsten is there. There's no chain flash set up this time around. So Sirsten, this is dunk, dunk hunting for him. But uh, he won't even have to get any frags because Tapson just goes aggressive. Like over 170 ADR yeah. at the moment. 11 rounds into the game. How is that even possible? <laughs> Killing Almost, everyone. <laughs> still, still early. Still early days. But like, that is insane. That's an insane amount of damage. Tessas will grab once once again, but it's Tizian maybe get some information here. Keto in the middle of the smoke. Who catch who first? Keto. Oh no, it's down. Keto was completely flash. And now this is gonna be a heroic round. Very, very confusing, but a round for the Danes nonetheless. And their own fault. We've seen a few missed shots here and there for Searson, but also just because Zonkar is alongside. Oh wow. Well, I was gonna say alongside Tabson, but I can't even finish the sentence before he gets a multi frag. In the meantime, the push is going to come into long, but Searson's ready for this. He's just waiting on the corner, and Barup... But where do you even go? Like, where yeah. do you go at this point? It's so funny, because they were obviously trying to do something fake towards B, but the second that all the B players are dying and they're advancing towards long, there's a player on the corner, and there's a rotation two seconds away. But at the same time, I'm in no doubt that he could just take this round away from them. Searson ready and waiting. Completely flashed. Good assist from Borup. Maybe a second away from the pre-fire through the flashbang, but doesn't matter. Kadian will get it. Tissian, though, once more with a very important frag. Keto onto down. And 2v2. Where's the fake smoke gonna go? It's actually gonna be the CT smoke that you can throw them from long. And it's actually not gonna be a complete fake. This is not to sell something. This is actually to go through mid. And Keto has read this like a book. Kadian can't dance around the corner. Three frags from Keto. Yeah. And well, Keto, he's looking to try and style on them. AD was also having a, a bit of a quieter game with the second orb, but... Not anymore! Last couple of rounds! Oh dear! That's not what you want to see if you're a heroic fan. He's just looking to try and close this round out all on his own. But he's got some support from Searson as well. Just Tessis and Nico remaining. Make that just Nico. He's waiting over towards Long, just trying to work out... If there's anybody here, he at least gets the kill onto Tizian, but that should be it as the peak comes out from Tabs and he wanted that extra kill. That's Keto in this scenario. It's going to be a B execute, but a quick rotation from Heroic. Who'll get there first? The smoke falls, but it's actually going to be Nico getting the kill through it. Not a bad start whatsoever, but even still, uh, the 4v5 afterpart is not easy. And a, well, 3 on 4, make it just two. What? They're getting slaughtered. Back and forth we go. Tizian now left in the clutch. Only 10 HP. Everybody fell in a second. And well, Kadian's more than aware. An important pistol round, but a bomb plant nonetheless for big. Only really the B site that can have some vulnerabilities. And that's why you have Tessus there with the SMG. And, well, what was a few extra grenades. This aggressive, though, is on Taras, in fact, with the Deagle. He was actually going to get that pick, and the timing couldn't be better for Tizian. It leaves Kadian again. He's got everything to do. He got three in the last round. He's managed one so far, and he's actually forced them back in the other direction. And Tessa is going to be in a prime position to deny any further pushes. That's the bomb down. A peak coming back in. So Taras has found a rifle, but it's down. Two quick kills, almost burnt to death. Tabson, he'll be dunked out as well. Focusing on Searson, in that time, let's try and take B. The problem is the counter utility that has come out from Heroic has actually delayed a lot. So now the push starts coming back through in the other direction. And they're somewhat sandwiched. As is Tessus, though. And Tizian actually peeks out aggressively into mid. There's the trade. Tabson should have this kill and eventually does. But it still ends up in a one versus one. He spotted out Kadian, who has now retrieved the rifle and just about takes it home. 14 HP. These last few rounds have been close. I think one of them's missed by the looks of it on the map. It's actually landed outside the map, which I'm not sure if that was the attempt, but now it's left oh. with the Tessus. Oh dear. Space bar jump gang wins again. As he's gonna mess that one up. And now it's gonna be the B site completely under the control Barup. I think he was waiting for a flash, but the flash is yet oh, to be thrown okay. out. And in fact, it's not a flash, it's an HP. And just as Heroic thought that we're going to get back in the game, big, perhaps another chunk, another bite out of them. 13 rounds on the board. A lot of these rounds that have been won by Heroic, like they've yeah. been huge plays coming out from their side, yeah. like 1v1s, there was KD in winning them, 1v1. Two of them were 1v1s yeah. on the B bomb side. Nico. Nico on the corner yeah. of the smoke. 
he could get something done here. He's left completely blind, but then again, so is Dontares. Oh, it's awkward, and he's going to have to reload. He's still not being killed. Kadian has found another. We set up in a two versus two. Well, make that just one, as this time Searson does not miss his aggressive peak. For up, he's retrieved a Famas. Make that an AK. But he doesn't have any armor, and he definitely doesn't have a kit. So he's going to have to just do this one very quickly if he even attempts it. Making his way through long since, and actually not looking in the right direction. That'll be a freebie. And now it's left all on to Kito to it's save this possible. for the Germans. And the time yeah. is ticking, though. He still has to pretty much run all the way, and Kito's just going to be waiting behind the box, just sitting there, delaying the time, and eventually he'll close out the round. They are actually going to be rotating their stack, and with the smokes going down, they have a fair amount of information. The spam's starting to come through, but Tabson, oh, padding those stats a little bit further. 26 kills for him. Testers does actually do a little bit of extra damage, and more importantly, and, and although it seems minuscule in the grand scale of things, it's looking bleak. There's still Cadian coming in from afar, and again, there isn't a kit available to them. So they're still watching out for flanks, trying to find people behind. They're being delayed by smokes. There's still another smoke for Tatsum, but he won't get the chance to use it. Grub, however, has found two, and now it is left all on Takito. The multi-frag merchant trying to save them, and he can't quite get the kill. It's going to be close with the defusal. Oh, that is ridiculous. <laughs> right on the end. Man, I thought Kiso had that one, but eventually, Pig was shot out. Oh, and who no. win this pool? It would be Bob. They were both very flashed. And now the, the rest of the team are just barreling through short. There's actually three players waiting for this. All the footsteps going to be heard by Nico. Kito looking Oy. to try and find the opener. That shot's gross. Looking for a little bit more. Tabson will be alongside him, but it's down. The young Dane to try and hold on to things here. And once again, it's Kito in the clutch. A lot more time for him here. The first one goes his way. There's a player trying to look over the top of the smoke, but it isn't quite giving an angle. And he hasn't seen Tessa. Close, but he gets that shot anyway. And Kito ends it. What a 4K again. This man is the 4K king.